Alrighty, hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Lunocraft here doing a little tutorial on Bibliocraft. This is going to be for the version 1.2.3. I'm going to go ahead and just go through kind of all the different items, just all of what you can do. And, uh, alright, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the very first items is going to be the bookshelves. I'm kind of going in the order of the website. I'll post in the description below of, um just how it goes. So here's the bookshelf. Uh, you can kind of see you put a book on, you can see it's there. Um, you put a book anywhere. I went ahead and made it in all different forms right here because uh, you can make it in any of the different types of wood and this is going to be the recipe. So in the chest of each one it's the recipe. So let's go ahead and move on to the armor stand. You can see this is kind of what it's like. This is what it looks like with nothing on it and then you just simply right click and it places the armor onto it uh, and this is going to be the recipe for it the next one is going to be going with uh, these are the display cases these guys are interesting to be able to use them you hold down the shift click and you right click to open it and let's put a block of gold in it you right click to put the item in and then you do the shift right click again I'm in the air flying well so the ship puts me down but um, you pretty much crouch and then you do that and it closes it you can make in all different types of wood. Uh, in fact, actually, whatever wool color that you want to put in there, uh, I should be able to change to it now. There's there's a limitation to it. It doesn't cover every wool. But um, here's some examples of what you can do. Uh, then we also have down here, these are going to be the potion. In fact, let me go ahead and spawn a few in. Uh, we'll do this one. It's really nice just to keep your organized and uh, just knowing exactly what you're grabbing but there you go as you can see it holds potions that's all it can do it can't hold anything more there is an item for that um, and then we have right here um, our little plaques which actually to be completely honest I don't know how to use I haven't used them um, I know they're supposed to be a sign of some form or sort uh, but to be honest I haven't actually been able to do that um oh uh, let me go ahead and sorry guys shift click so there you go Ta -da! so you have to shift click and open it up and that's how it does it it goes in any other wood and so here's how you make them all uh, this right here you just put some slabs uh, some wool right here and some glass here and this is how you're going to make the display cases of course you can change out the wool again for any other color course you want to experiment because not every color will work um, this is going to be the potions put a little glass bottle there and then here's going to be the uh, little pretty much it acts like an item frame but you can put up to three items on it so keeps it smaller a little bit more organized in a way so um, next one is going to be the tool rack now I don't actually ever use the tool rack but I'll show you kind of how it works Oh, this is pretty cool. Let me get this one. Okay. So basically, you right click, you can, each one can hold up to four different items. You can see it kind of gets crowded, and personally, I really like the shelf a little bit nicer than the tool rack, but this is kind of cool looking if you have like a little workbench thing going on. Um, so yeah, this is how you use it. You just pretty much put slabs all around, and then iron and gut. And of course, there's the four different types. Uh, next one's going to be shelves. Uh, shelves is pretty important. Uh, you can kind of imagine why. It's very nice. And actually, at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you guys, of course, how to what the use of all this is. Because this is a lot of stuff. It's kind of like, oh, it doesn't look that good. But this is just a display. So I'm not really going to say this is what, you know, it, it doesn't look good anyway. So anyways, uh, you just right click. And yeah, you just right click to put it back. It's pretty much that simple. You can right click the center of it and be able to grab off that. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing right there. Uh, it makes it nice and easy. So here's the recipe for that. Uh, it's pretty simple. In fact, actually just one block of any wood. You just put it in there, uh, spread three out there, then you make the six half slabs and then you get that. So one block of wood actually makes a shelf. It's pretty cool. We're going to ignore this chest right here. We're going to move on to the desk. The desk is actually really cool. Um, so let's say we right click on that side. 
it places it here. You can also move it to here if you click in the center. But the center spot is pretty cool. You can right click there. So, ta da! You're probably wondering why it said promo because, well, I'm promoting my video a little bit more. So, that's the desk. It's pretty cool. Uh, it looks excellent, but uh, how do you make it? Well, let's, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, this right here is just some slabs, a couple of these, a feather, and a torch. It's very cheap, very easy. In fact, um, I haven't really experimented, but I think the torch and the feather... Oh my god, that bug is annoying. Um, in fact, actually, there you go. Uh, I think the torch and the feather can be switched, but uh, don't quote me on that one. So here are the final two, and this one's actually really, 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 really cool. Um... So basically, this right here is how you make a slate for your book that you can write. So let's go ahead and I will go ahead. Oh, let's just make one. Ew, that's a fail. Sign. Bleah. There we go. This is the book. How do y'all? Put it on a desk. You can read it. How do y'all? Uh, whoopsies. Take it off the desk. So let's go ahead and print this. So right click on this little section right here. Then you want to grab one of these printing press chases, which I'll show you. Uh, that was in the diamond chest over there. And you right click this top section. There is a trick too. You got to get some buttons. Ooh, what? Why did that just do that? Yeah, well, let me get some more. Okay, so shift, click, right, click, and then boom. Click, and it makes a plate. So this is basically an image of your book. Also, it's kind of funny if you shift, click, and right, click. Or if you shift and right, click, it turns it blue. It doesn't serve a purpose, but it's fun. Um, then I also need some ink. And I will show you guys then... This right here is the printing press. So if you take this right here, put it right in the center, you take the ink, and there's this bar back here you can aim for in the center. It's a darkened part. You right click, and you see now that's inked. And you grab a book. Go ahead and we'll grab a full stack. And you click, and it automatically goes. And then after a while, it'll do 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 do. Hurry up, thing. We're waiting here. It'll actually make the book, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, while that's going, let's go ahead and look at the recipe. So this right here is going to be the recipe for the uh, plate maker, my bobber. Um, this right here is going to be for the printing press, but there is this right here, the weighted pressure plate, which uh, it took me a while to figure out how to actually make that. This right here. And just it's like a normal pressure plate but with iron ingots actually you know I think 64 is a bit much so I'm going to separate it I think it's trying to do all of them at once which is annoying so do that um, wow I didn't even think it would do 64 at once that or it's taking a really super long time that it shouldn't but either way um, so here are the random recipes uh, bibliocraft just the rest of them there is this right here, uh, gets you this item right here, the reel, um, and then all this, you fill that with iron ingots on all four corners, and you get this tape measure. Right click this, right click here, and as you can see, it's a measurement of six, so it measures that. Um, if I were to do diagonally, what it does is it doesn't go one, two, like one, two, three, four, it ends up making a fifth one, so it's not incredibly accurate on the diagonals. Um, it's pretty off there, but the horizontal and the vertical is perfectly fine, so the X and the Z. Uh, then you get this right here, this, which is the sunglasses right here, the reading glasses. You take the reading glasses and you put one gray dye and it gets the tainted glasses. And then you can also be a complete awesome person and go like I do. Uh, wear a monocle. That's what that'll create. And then this one right here is the chase. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, that's how you're going to be able to make that. Here's the monocle. In fact, let me go ahead and wear that. So I look really cool. No! I want to do that. 
There we go. Oh yeah, look at my character. Yep. I'm awesome. Okay, so that's the monocle. There is also one last recipe, guys. Uh, I don't know why that's actually taking so long, but normally it doesn't actually take long. It'll just come out as a blue book here. You right-click it, and voila. And I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yes. Um, there is the a book you can create. You just literally take a book. You put a redstone on top of it, and it makes a redstone book. Uh, that's actually the guy that I had a while ago that was with this one. Um... Really, oh, that's this guy right here. The Redstone Volume 1. What it does is if you have the Redstone book inside a bookshelf or anything like that, it actually makes that as a block that provides power. So you can end up using that for some fancy stuff. Um, maybe you have a bookshelf on the back of this guy right here. But uh, that's pretty much all there is about BiblioCraft, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer some more. If you want uh, any mods that um, I already have, I have uh, Mo Creatures. I've got Thumbcraft. I've got Buildcraft. Mobile or extra biomes, and I think there's a couple more, but uh, either way, uh, just let me know if there's any mods that you guys want me to do a review on or uh, tutorial. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the part of the video where I actually show how all this can work in a building. So, I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. Let me go ahead and sleep real quick. So, this is going to be the part of the video where I show you uh, the implementation of the whole night entire thing so it's kinda nice um, here's some shelves you know I got my potions right here this puts my nether wart I mean each one of these holds a stack of 64 which is pretty ballin so it just kinda gets it out of the way and doesn't take up my entire chest inventory same as this right here which is pretty nice and organized um, it really just helps it makes the place look really nice as you walk in so it's kinda cool and just kinda really clears up my inventory of my chest. I don't have this giant chest there. I have something just really decorating the wall but it also ser serves some purpose. Uh, here's some armor stands I'm just decorating that makes a nice little cool entrance. You can also make like little statue type things. Pretty nice. Pretty fun. Um, I don't use the potion chest or the potion one because uh, it only holds nine or I mean yeah it only holds but a few so it's not really worth it. I would rather use a chest there. Um, especially because I use so many of them. But I might end up actually putting a few like right there or right there or up there or something like that. So as I'm going out, I just go in, right click, grab it, and use a speed potion, something like that. Uh, so here, we, this is my favorite one actually. Uh, each one of these is pretty much a stack of 64 bottles um, above my water source it just kinda gets the bottles out of the way uh, really clears my inventory really was nice same here is my creosote oil because I do have rail craft that was one of the mods I forgot to mention and um, it really helps out there I also have this right here to make my place look pretty awesome this uh, we have some kind of weapons mod or something that adds boomerangs it's pretty sweet and it, it the display case is what I find a lot of time. It kind of just glitches like that. I don't know how to turn that off. Maybe I need fancy graphics or something, but um, I only have 32 bit Java on a 64 bit operating system, so it didn't really work out too well. So here is the rest of uh, more, more of the shelving. I mean, I'm a big fan of doing the shelves. There's really nothing else that I would rather do. It's also my desk. I actually wrote a big book on my server um, that I'm on. So it was pretty awesome. Everyone wanted a copy. I felt very proud. So that's pretty much um, what you can really do in the server. It's or on any kind of bibliocraft stuff. Uh, really nice. It's helpful. 
helps get some things, you know, a little bit more decorated to make it feel kind of cool. Uh, at the same time, it gets stuff out of your inventory so you don't have to have so many chests just sitting in the way on the floor. Uh, it just helps bring the storage up and at the same time just kind of making everything work. What the heck is that? Oh, yes, you can also kind of do that. So you should probably build a bookshelf for that. Either way, guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and I uh, hope it was helpful. If you did, you know, please click the like button. If there's anything I left out or anything you guys have questions on, just uh, shoot me in a comment. Uh, and if you want me to do more of these, let me know. Subscribe, and uh, I'll keep working on them. Uh, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was helpful, and I will see you guys later.